Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Mary and this is Sunlight Insight Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome, welcome and thank you. So this is for the full moon in Cancer, which does happen on January 17th of this month. So just a little quick overview here before I get into your reading on what all this energy means from what I do know. And then in with the tarot, I'm not an astrologer, but uh, we'll go through what this is going to come up for you with the tarot and lots of oracles here. So when you think of full moon, you know, the full moon is about full circle, completion, endings, uh, releasing, healing. And, you know, and the moon is all about illusion, breaking the illusion, fears, getting, you know, overcoming fears, working through them intuition you know really tuning into your intu intuition as well it's deep emotions trusting your unknown path unknown path and it's all about cycles and change as well and then the sign of cancer is protective private deep feelings emotional it can be emotional motivation as well and it's kind of like the chariot energy you know take charge kind of energy with drive ambition balance getting after that success, victory, and, you know, taking action. But we're still in the sign of Capricorn. We're still in Capricorn season, which is then the earth energy, which is stable and grounded, practical, secure. Uh, it's about success, growth, abundance. But with that devil energy, with, you know, the tarot being the devil, which is Capricorn, can be sometimes doing it through devious means. So we have to kind of be careful of that energy. But with all this energy, it's all about transformation, shedding the old and uh, feeling safe emotionally and with our home, family and friends as well. And probably our lover or our, you know, significant other as well also. So we're going to dive into the readings here and see what this full moon in Cancer means for you, your transformation, your shedding, your emotional state, your home, your family, your love and see what's going on for you. Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your full moon in Cancer reading. Let's see what we have for you for this energy. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and we have a placements of Sagittarius, male, wow, alrighty then, male or female, general collective reading. So please only take what resonates, including the signs mentioned. And you definitely can flip, switch, reverse energies around anytime you feel the need to. So please feel free to do that. Cross watches, you are welcome. Could actually be a reading or some messages in here for you. So please do keep that in mind. Welcome in, Sagittarius. Welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. Everything you need to know, Sagittarius, is down below in the description box. Your playlists are down there. And um, lots of readings to check out. Your Januarys have gone up. Uh, you have a 2022 yearly reading, which is up. You could check that out as well. A new moon in Capricorn. Technically, we're still in the season of Capricorn, so it can still affect us, even though the new moon has gone by already. So you may want to check that reading out as well. All right. So if you're new here, I do a lot of readings. I do um, eight a month to a week. I do a weekly reading, which is a little shorter, sneak peek for the week ahead. I do two monthlies, a new moon, a full moon, and those are technically a lot longer. So you get a shorter reading, a weekly, and a longer uh, monthly and new moon and full moon readings. All right, Sag. Hope you're all doing well, staying safe and healthy. Let's see what we have. Unconditional love. And we have 42, which is six, a very healing, balanced energy. Mm, okay, let's see where that is going. We have Replenish. I just got this for Leo, I believe. So we have four, which is very stable, grounded energy. And we have Awareness. We have 30, which is three, which is, you know, teamwork, collaboration, rebuilding, growing, expanding, people coming together in some way, shape, or form. I feel like here, um, Sag, you know, with Replenish here, <clears throat> sorry you may have just gone through something where you're healing rejuvenating taking some time out recuperating in some way shape or form regaining your stability back you know mind body and soul but there's something you're becoming definitely becoming aware of some sort of unconditional love either being offered to you or around you or supporting you this could be unconditional love from the universe you know your spiritual your angel team your pastor over loved ones your friends your family 
it also could be somebody else offering you unconditional love and you could be uh, becoming very aware of that and we have a rainbow here which is luck expansion growth as well and we do have like two energies here which could be soulmates and soulmates could be anybody it could be a family member a friend a co-worker it could be your dog it could be not just a lover hmm interesting all right let's see where this is going Sagittarius all right honesty I can't always expect the truth from others but I can expect it from myself so you need to be honest with yourself because you're in denial about something or this could be somebody else's energy again you could switch it around I acknowledge my fear but I replace it with the insight of awareness wow we have awareness twice here I can't make it up so we have purple here which is about spirituality it's about manifestation and we have yellow orange energy which is like solar plexus sacral energy which is about you know true identity authenticity and we have peace we have blue representing the throat chakra which is about true clarity uh, communication I am a being of love and I release all negative energy yeah I feel like what I feel like here Sag now this could be you or somebody else has been in denial about an unconditional love definitely healing from something bringing inner peace or peaceful resolutions or peaceful uh, surroundings here but it's someone needs to be honest here with their true um, authenticity because someone is aware that there's something very very unconditional around them all right let's see we have relationship dynamics wow I'm just talking about that windfall so that could be abundance coming in and it doesn't always mean money it could be a windfall of peace and harmony um, can be abundance of money it could be uh, relationship harmony it could be love it could be many different things and we have new career wow so some of you if you are on a new career path here I do see making more money it going exceptionally well but there's something in your relationship dynamics here that um, let's see put them this way something here um sag okay your career is going well we could see that clearly here but i think in other dynamics of your life uh surrounding relationships again you may have um you're replenishing yourself maybe over some sort of re a relationship dynamic that it just happened with you and maybe you know having the peaceful resolutions with that but there's some sort of denial here but someone definitely is aware about some other kind of unconditional love around them and it's time to be honest and step out of denial it's kind of what I'm feeling here all right so let's see what is going on for you Sagittarius again it could be someone else doesn't have to be you so take what resonates switch around the energies whenever you feel like you need to so what do we have for Sagittarius for this full moon in Cancer energy? If you missed the beginning, I went over all the energies of the full moon in Cancer. In case you skipped right to the um, oracle part or tarot part, you may want to watch it from the beginning so you understand uh, the energies here. All right. Sag. Seven of Swords. See, someone is running. You know, I don't always take the Seven of Swords as... Um, lies deceit I take that as someone who is avoiding or running out of fear devil mm, Capricorn energy so you know that could be again low self-esteem fear worry stress anxiety negative thinking can be addictions obsessions blah 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 that kind of energy being bound to something that we want to get out of whether it's a relationship as well six of pentacles equal give and take so definitely if you were you know maybe you just got out of you know ran out <laughs> maybe you ran out of a relationship that was very toxic as well but now feeling good and uh, balanced and I just heard healthy so you could be you know in a real good place right now where you're feeling balanced you know you're making your money you're on a new career path you know that is going well temperance well there you are Sag you never fail fail to let me down you always show up in your readings with temperance here that is you Sag you know when Sagittarius <laughs> I meant to say temperance 
does mix the elixirs of life here, trying to bring in what is meant for us. We have Archangel Gabriel here, trying to mix the elixirs to bring, you know, what is meant for you, whether it's usually soulmates together at the exact right time. It's about divine alchemy, divine timing, patience, healing, balance, peace, harmony, joy. Working behind the scenes here. Queen of Wands. So that definitely could be you. For me, it's Aries or Leo, Sag or Aries. So it could be you or another fire sign. Um, I feel like it's you. I feel like I, I feel like Temperance is working behind the scenes for you here, Sagittarius, to restore peace, harmony, and balance into your life. I mean, we do have peace there. Um, let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Nine of Cups. So wish fulfillment, happiness, and joy. So I feel like you know what can bring you peace, harmony, joy, wish fulfillment as well. Very single energy as well. Or feeling like you're single and confident. I feel like you broke free from this very um, negative toxic energy. Definitely here. <clears throat> My throat is... Act Every time I do a Sagittarius reading my throat gets activated so <laughs> and I did speak of the throat chakra here which is this blue energy with peace so maybe you're needing to speak up and make peace with someone and be honest because I'm ready to take a coughing fit here <coughs> all right Sagittarius I feel my eyes filling up as well all right I may have to stop the camera for a minute here. Sorry about that, Sag. All right, so let's see here. What else do we need to know? This energy for Sagittarius. Knight of Pentacles. So slowly moving forward. You know, the Knight of Pentacles is about slow and steady movement forward. You know, success, victory, you know, being stable, grounded, secure, practical, smart, wise, taking your time, not rushing, Taurus energy. So slowly moving forward in the right direction. It's kind of what I feel as well. Five of Swords. Ten of Cups. I feel like here, Sagittarius, you're afraid to... I mean, Ten of Cups is total happiness, joy, fulfillment in every single way. Happy home and family. I feel like, you know, you could be doing really good. You're making slow progress forward, feeling stable and grounded, practical, wise, smart. And you don't want to do anything to sabotage that. This has been a long time com coming for you to get into this energy. And I feel like you don't want to sabotage it by... I mean, cups does represent love, emotions, feelings, relationships. I feel like you don't want to sabotage that by getting into some sort of new love or connection or relationship as well. But someone definitely is aware that there's some sort of unconditional love around them. Four of Swords, you're definitely thinking about it. Somebody is thinking about it. Six of Cups about returning to someone from the past. Now, Ten of Wands. See, I don't think it's... Um, this could be somebody else you know from the past. Um, I don't think it's... Like, if you just got out of a relationship dynamic that you're healing from, I don't think it's that. Because that was very overwhelming, very challenging. Um... A lot of burdens, stress, you know, just couldn't take it anymore. That's definitely an ending. Could have been, you know, feeling a lot of energy of having to be on guard, defending yourself, fighting, you know, as well. Hangman, Pisces. I cut, get that a lot. It could have been what a Pisces doesn't have to be. So definitely in limbo here. So you're ready to go on a fresh new start here. This is definitely your energy on the Fool's journey. Like, I feel like you've been through all the major arcana, which starts with the Fool, a fresh new start, ends with the world, with that cycle closing. And then you're starting a new cycle in life. So I definitely feel like you're on the verge here of a new cycle in life, or you are. And, you know, this is about enlightenment, new perspectives. And I feel like you're ready for new perspectives, new enlightenment, new life. I think the past was just very challenging. But, I mean, we do have, I mean, this could be apologies, the page of cups, Pisces, again. I get it could be, you know, an offering of peaceful resolutions with the past. Maybe the past person that you just... Um, is healing from it could be that as well it could be also a love offer so definitely hermit energy definitely um solo journey here for you virgo energy with the hermit and definitely introspection healing finding your path your way your light 
where you want to invest in or not invest in with the seven of pentacles but i want to see who this um six of cups is who is this six of cups i don't feel like it's like a recent or relationship you're just healing from i feel like it's something else from your past for some it could be like a first love or a childhood sweetheart that could even be a past life connection let's see who is it judgment so we got scorpio there again that's that past life connection so i definitely feel like it's someone you either knew in a past life or someone um, maybe you really didn't get to know that well in this life, but you definitely have a past life connection with them. And this judgment is about, you know, healing, forgiving, letting go of things of the past, life review, relationship review, making a final decision here for the future. Ace of Wands. Yeah, I knew it was something new. It could be another fire sign because the Wands is fire. So this could be um, something you're definitely thinking of. Or thinking of you where they give you new inspiration new um, creativity ideas philosophy um, spirituality you know the wands can be very um, fiery inspiration um, spiritual as well exciting new endeavor projects ideas so you're definitely making it someone's making a decision about that but there is fair here with the moon Pisces energy again Fear about taking action, Knight of Wands. That's you, Sagittarius, about a new beginning in love. Oh my goodness, Sag. Because of an ending of the past. Ten of Swords, feeling like you've been through it. Not sure if you want to go that way again. But we just spoke of the world. I mean, the cards don't lie. <laughs> the cards, the spirit world doesn't lie. They give you, they give me what I need to tell you. So the world, I, we just spoke of that. We saw the fool ends with the world and a new cycle starting. Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio. Yeah, definitely moving on. It could be divorce here as well. Justice here with Libra. All right, so let's see what else we need to know here for this full moon in Cancer. Things coming full circle. You know, all that energy we spoke of with this full moon in Cancer energy. Still in the sign of Capricorn as well. What else do we need to know? Sagittarius. Seven of Pentacles showing up again. What to invest in, what not to invest in. Page of Swords. So it could be keeping tabs on someone here. Could be learning new things as well. That could be, you know, needing honest, truthful communication. Maybe there's no communication, but there's like keeping tabs also. Also, you could be, you know, going online and learning new things as well. Researching. Three of Pentacles. Definitely rebuilding. I definitely you're in the energy, and I felt that for a long time. You're reading Sag in the energy of rebuilding. Three of Pentacles can be about, again, we spoke of the three, teamwork, collaboration, rebuilding, growing, expanding. Four of Wands. I got the Four of Wands for Leo as well. Four of Wands can be my soulmate twin flame card. It can be, you know, dating, getting to know, ceremony, celebrations. It can be commitment, marriage, moving in, buying a new home, feeling stable and grounded in your home environment as well. Knight of Cups, foreign woman in love, Scorpio energy. Romantic gestures, romance, hermit, showing up again, Virgo energy, enlightenment, again with that page of cups, showing up again. So oh, there you are, the Wheel of Fortune on the top of the deck, fate, destiny, divine timing, things meant to be, getting better, going in the right direction, there's the abundance, that's Sagittarius for me, and also Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, or Scorpio. So definitely, but someone needs to get out of uh, their monkey mind here. This is a higher level of um, connection, Hierophant, Taurus energy. Leveling up, standards, tradition, religion, spirituality, learning, teaching, um, institutional energies of the world, higher levels in all forms, being the leader, the teacher, the guide, the student, practicality, commitments, marriage, Oh, Sag. So I feel like here, deep introspection here with the hermit, going within, trying to find the path, the way, the light, about what to invest, what not to invest, rebuilding, feeling stable and grounded in the life you're rebuilding, 
but still there's a lot of introspection and thinking about about moving forward in some sort of romantic connection here so you could be you know actually someone here could actually be going online and learning about spirituality faith soulmate twin flames all that kind of energy as well you know the hermit is a very wise leader so maybe somebody here is also getting um teachings from a very wise leader as well hmm, interesting all right so what else do we need to know about this energy sagittarius i mean we do have full circle here with the ten of cups which is that happiness joy fulfillment happy home and family Page of Cups showing up again, Pisces energy, Hermit showing up again, Virgo, Wheel of Fortune showing up again, that's you, Eight of Swords showing up again, and the Hierophant. So all these energies wanting to show up again, and the Ten of Wands on the bottom of the deck. So Seven of Wands, Knight of Swords, Fool. So there's the Fool's Journey, Aquarius energy. Then we have soulmate union and we have the line up there which is leo three of swords strength again with leo empress so i definitely feel like here sag you could be the empress or there could be an empress around you very strong connection here past lives together a lot of holding back though but needing to be strong courageous and brave but there's a sense of someone still having a broken heart maybe over a past soulmate relationship but definitely embarking on a new journey here. But uh, there's also a sense here of something happening quickly or wanting to rush in very quickly, Aquarius energy, but yet feeling defeated, non-guard, defensive. Hmm. Very contradictory energies here. So now we have the High Priestess, which is a match to the Hierophant, which is my spiritual couple of the deck. And I did have uh, this for Leo as well. So we have Pisces and Taurus. So very spiritual connection here as well for you. Look at this. We have the King of Pentacles and the Sun. The Sun, Leo energy, again, is the best card you can have. You know, healing, faith, spirituality, victory, success, enlightenment, growth, expansion, happy home and family, joy, love, soulmate, twin flame, stars, divinely guided, Aquarius energy, again, faith, hope, optimism, which dreams coming true, divinely guided energy, something meant to be. Somebody could be literally a star in some way. Someone is hung up here about some sort of soulmate connection here with the lovers, Gemini energy. That could be very successful. So definitely aware, enlightenment. I feel like someone is aware that this is a divinely guided spiritual connection here, but somebody is more focused on their work, money, career, and finances and being stable and grounded. Somebody could have been married at one point as well. Oy, Sag. So I feel like here, Sag, I mean, with the hermit does become aware that someone is offering unconditional love. It is divinely guided meant to be, but somebody is so stuck in their head about maybe, you know, relationship dynamics of the past, maybe needing still some healing and peaceful resolutions regarding that so that the spiritual love can come in between you and this other person as well. Uh, it's fate and destined here for this to come together but someone is inspired by the other but is still too i feel bogged down and overwhelmed from their past so until someone can make peace with their past be honest with themselves and heal and finally let go and realize i feel like they are aware to some point of what this connection is but it's about getting out of mental entrapment and accepting it for what it is and not being in denial any longer but let's get you some advice and guidance some sort of spiritual ace of wands very spiritual exciting fiery passionate new energy does want to come in here ten of cups all right let's see what we need to know for you sagittarius so Someone can get over something here and make peace with their past. They definitely have a true, unconditional spiritual connection here. All right. 
Let's see. Because we started with the Seven of Swords, which can be avoidance running from a very spiritual connection here with the Hierophant and the High Priestess. Peer pressure. Don't let others coerce you into a decision. You know you're in your heart what the right choice is. So we have pink there, which does represent new love. We have purple manifestations, the spiritual energy. So you could have people around you telling you, oh, you can't do this. You can't do that. You can't, you know, get in a new relationship already. You just got out of one, blah, 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 blah. As far as your work and career, I think that's going well. You're definitely rebuilding here. Your home is feeling, you know, home is feeling safe and secure and grounded. Communicate with your angels. You have the ability to connect with the beings of love who surround you. Communicate with your angels and deliver their healing messages to others. So we have yellow there, which is about, you know, soul mission, purpose, your true authenticity, identity, who you truly are. Some of you need to connect uh, with your spirituality more, your past over loved ones, angels, ancestors, uh, spirit guides. Share the message of love. See, someone knows that they do have love in their heart, but they've been denying it. Rivers of love flow within you and others may benefit from this healing energy. Be mindful of each word that passes your lips. So it could be a very healing, uh, unconditional love here. In yellow, it could have started out as a friendship or maybe a co-worker or something like that. All right, let's get one more here for you, Sagittarius. Stand by your commitment. You're strong enough to keep the promise that you've made. Don't back out now. Your angels believe in you. So we do have, you know, again, pink with new love. So this could be about a commitment of a new love. And maybe, you know, others are saying, no, you can't do that. You can't do that. But trust your intuition, your higher knowing, the messages from the universe. Because it's saying here, open your third eye. It is safe for you to open your center of clairvoyance by doing so you'll see the truth wow yep and we do have family harmony on the top your loved ones form a strong pillar of support embrace their love and put past issues behind you so see we have pink for new love so i think by bringing some sort of peace harmony peaceful resolutions with the past will allow this new love to come in and don't let others tell you you can't do what you want to do and someone definitely needs to get out of fear of this spiritual connection because it definitely is divinely guided here, Sagittarius. All right, Sag. So whether you want it or not, whether it's you or somebody else, this is a divinely guided, unconditional, high-level spiritual connection here. And someone is aware of this, but they're just kind of stuck in a situation here. That, But this can come to fruition if someone chooses it to be. All right, Sagittarius, so that's what I have for you. Uh, best of luck to you. Wishing you the best. Again, don't forget to check out your January readings, your weekly readings, your 2022 readings. A lot here on the channel to check out. Wishing you the best, and I shall see you next time.